Hey guys, Willpower64 here, bring you all back to another part of Pikmin 2. In the last part, we returned to the Valley of Repose, found a cave there, or a dungeon, and we got ourselves some purple Pikmin. And in this part, we arrived to a new area, the Awakening Woods. I would go over the Picklepedia and the treasure room, but I think we're going to save that at the end of this day, which is day three. So with that being said, let's go. The Awakening Woods. I should also mention the Valley Repose. We won't be going back to that area any... Well, wait, what? Why did we stop? Oh, wow, okay. I did not know that. <coughs> Sorry. If you press A and you press B, you stop yourself from landing. That is so cool. I didn't know that. Okay, well, enough stalling. Let's go. Like, uh, Let's go this time. I did not know you could do that. Oh, that's so cool. And ooh, hello, hello. Brand new area. Look at this. We got quite a few things to do around here, so we're going to keep ourselves busy here. Oh, and the ship has something to tell us already. Good morning. It should please you to know that the purple Pikmin are lodged safely in my hall. The, comf the confines of my interior seem to suit them perfectly, though they do occasionally tickle me. Standing in the ring of light below me and press A to call the purple Pikmin out. And then you get like a little computer screen, which is kind of cool. So, let's call out our purple Pikmin. Cool. Nice. Alright, and eh, we might as well bring out all of our red Pikmin as well. So come on, Louie. So, starting things off, we want to go over here to this patch of grass. That's the first place we want to go to. Oh, okay. I guess we're getting interrupted. Louis has Olimar instructed you on the particularities of the Pikmin creatures. The Pikmin form groups based on the color when disbanded by C. Grabbing Pikmin with A will also cause them to, cause them to group by color. Now... For a bonus lesson. First, press and hold A to pick up a Pikmin. Then, while holding A, press B to swap Pikmin. I kind of went over this back in the last part. Olimar, remember to properly train new employees. I thought that's what the... Actually, no, that, that is that is our role. I was going to say, isn't that the boss's role? I'm like, oh, wait, no. I that That is our role. All right. Come on. We're going to get something. Come on. Don't do this. Don't do this. No. Oh, okay. Here we go. Nectar! Get our Pikmin to drink it! And there we go! The Pikmin have drank that yellow nectar instantly, matured into a flower Pikmin. It appears to have enhanced my odor skills. What a mar- What a wondrous nectar. How intriguing! Like plants, Pikmin mature f from leaf to bud to flower. Captain Olimar, you must share the information you have with your subordinates, Louie. All right. Is that the only one we're going to get? Really? Ah, uh, it's the only one we're going to get. All right, fine. All right. So first things first. Uh, we're going to get these things here. And with purples, let's just show how powerful purples are. Boom. Look at that. Destroyed. Reds, you always go to that. And purples again. We are going to destroy. Uh oh. Destroy. Thank you. I ran out of purples there for a second. I was like, what the? All right. So what I'm going to do is get some reds on that. We got ourselves another treasure up here. That's pretty good. And, yeah, let's just swarm the guys on this. So they're going to do that. Uh, excuse me, who left that there? So they're going to go over that way. Uh, we got some new enemies here. These are white shear grubs. These things are harmless, so I wouldn't worry about them. Uh, we got some berries here, but I'm going to wait off on those. What we're going to do is get some Pikmin, start breaking this down. It would be awesome if I had some nectar, but unfortunately I do not. Oh, there's a honey wisp there. I might be able to get some... Uh... Oh, hello. 
Might be able to get some uh, nectar off of that thing there. What do we got here? Olimar, we have a problem. The onion has ceased injecting seeds. Is it a malfunction? Interesting. It now seems the number of life forms within the onion have increased. <clears throat> Didn't you note that no more than 100 Pikmin will venture onto the planet at once? But I currently observed only 95 on the surface. Could there be wild Pikmin somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. It's not like we've seen any already. Anyways. Uh, we're going to grab our Pikmin here. We'll start plucking uh, these guys. I'll let those guys carry that back. And as we are grabbing this... Oh, there we go. They come to join us. It's a strawberry. Really nice. A sunseed berry. I'm going to keep plucking and... Oh. 10% of the debt recovered. Cool. 90% left to go. We still got a long way to go, but I'm sure we'll get it eventually. Um, I should also probably go over about the nectar that we saw. So nectar, you can get nectar from grass. Sometimes you can get it from um, those these creatures here. Yeah. Oh, hi. 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 I need purples. Purples. Purples scare these guys. Okay, this, uh, normally you meet these guys first thing in a dungeon. You don't see these things now, so that was kind of cool. Alright, I'm gonna call these guys back. Hey, bud, come over here. At least I got some guys still working on this. That was kind of cool. So those guys are gonna be doing that. As for the rest of us, we're gonna grab some of these berries. We'll get our Pikmin to go up. And grab these. So, the Pikmin will kind of go up, grab, and start hitting these things. I don't have any more Pikmin. So, hopefully... Yeah, when the berries start hitting the ground, they kind of lose their purpose. So, I'm going to get these guys to carry this stuff back. Alright, and... Oh, there we go. We already got one back already. Kind of cool. Let's see. Astounding! This red berry contains an ultra spicy essence. It does not appear to have any monetary value, but I shall research potential use for it. Bring me another specimen! Radio! I shall do that. As a matter of fact, we got a bunch coming already. There you go. So while they are doing that, I'm going to get the rest of these guys to go back and help out with this. So we should have some more Pikmin being made, which we do. We are. That's great. And there we go. And there we go. We got something red and jiggly. It's moving. Captain Olimar, my research on the red berries you discover have yielded a powerful potion. Behold, the ultra spicy spray. Although it's untested, I believe it will have spectacular results. Spray it on all of your Pikmin by pressing 2. When necessary, I can produce one bottle of spray from 10 berries. Pressing plus to contact me and confirm your berry count by pressing left on the D-pad. Oh yeah, I never went over that in the last part. So there we go. We got ourselves some berries. A berry count here. Um, if I press start, so we got our radar. If I go to items, so you can see on the left our... Uh, our spicy counts. We have one, but we have no more berries in the tank, I guess. Exploration kit. You might have noticed all these little things here. These are kind of upgrades that you guys get throughout the game, which is kind of cool. Uh, we have our menu here, so you can also go to Sunset if you really want to, but we're not going to. And there's our map. So those guys are going to keep uh, breaking away at this. And while they're doing that, we can hopefully hope for more berries to show up. Maybe. Hopefully. Be kind of cool if we do. Oh, there we go. We got ourselves some more berries. Now we're going to call these guys back to make sure they don't go too far ahead. And have some dangerous results with that. You guys go over here. And with the rest of us, we will grab the berries that fall down. We want to make sure we get a bunch of these. These are going to be very helpful later in the game. Okay, so they're going back. I call you guys back, and I will call you guys back. Thank you. 
And actually, I just realized I can just stand right here and wait for these guys to bring these back. So there they go. Now, you don't want to call any of your Pikmin back because if they drop, if you call them back while they carry one of these things, they will drop it and it will break. Which sucks. And there we go. Very, very nice. So we got all of our Pikmin back. It's all 95. Let's move on. And we got ourselves another enemy here, a new one. These guys like to bury underground, so we want to watch out for that. Uh, you might have noticed there, the purple Pikmin stunned this enemy. So that's kind of cool. Uh, we got another paper bag here. We need 200 to bring this one down, so we're going to have to come back later. Um, okay. You see this plant has an eyeball here. We're going to throw a Pikmin at it. I'm going to grab purple's ready because this thing shows up. I think these things are called creeping chrysanthemums or something like that. But not a thing to be worried about. These guys are pretty easy to take down. So where we want to go is this way, over here. And we found ourselves another cave, another dungeon, sorry, dungeon. Berserk, berserk, biological, biological sensors are reacting violently. The readings are ominous. A beast of unknown power lurked in these depths. A large Pikmin, Pikmin group would be reassuring. My sound sensors are picking up hostile roars of many beasts. Expect danger encounters. Sensors are also showing extreme heat pockets. You may need flame resistant Pikmin. But my records indicate no such data. Are my records incomplete? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Well, let's go on in. The Hole of Beasts. So if you might notice on the top here, those like four little circles and one of them has a flame on it. These show you the kind of hazards that there's going to be in this dungeon. Thing is, there are other hazards that the screen won't show, which kind of sucks. So watch out for that. Anyways, we have 95 Pikmin here. We are going to enter this dungeon with 95 Pikmin. That's going to be pretty good. In they go into the hole. Cool. Alrighty. The Hole of Beast, sub level one. Alrighty. So here we are, first dungeon. Or, sorry, second dungeon of the game. Now, why am I worried that I may lose some Pikmin here now? Now I'm getting the feeling of I'm going to lose some. Alright, we got some white shear grubs here. Nothing to worry about them. Not too worried about that. The other thing I'm worried about is the next thing we're going to bump into. Anything here? Nothing there. All right. Over here. Nothing. Okay. Just keep my eye out. That's the last thing I want for something bad to, for me to walk into. Like that. Purple sh shearwigs. Shearwigs? Shear grubs. Purple shear grubs. These things can actually kill your Pikmin. The purple ones can't, so watch out for that. All right. All right, heads up, I saw a purple, I saw another one. There we go, nice. Okay, I'm not too worried. Hey, 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 you're not carrying that back. Thank you. Is there any more? Okay, there's a white one. I'm not too worried about the white ones, but I will take them out just in case they are in my way. Take these ones out. Okay. All right, over here. Here's the treasure we're looking for. It's a D-pad. Looks like the D-pad on like an NES controller. All right, so that, well, there that goes. They're off with that. And well, here's the entrance to the next part of the caves. So I guess we'll just wait for these guys to bring it back. I mean, I guess you can say it's just as much waiting as it was like in the last game, so. Is what it is. All right, there we go. Cool. Name, the Stone of Glory. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Got an X. And there's that sound again. We got our, I just like grabbing my Pikmin to make sure I have them with me. All right, moving on. Let's 
go deeper. Over to sub level two. Oh, I'm just, okay, now I'm remembering some of the later dungeons. They're not gonna be fun. But it is what it is. All right, here we go, sub level two. Ooh, the place is kind of purpley now. That's kind of cool. All right, sort of a purpley flow here. Okay, you hear that kind of music? Usually when you hear that kind of music, it means you've reached like a, like a, um, a rest floor or a, oh, there's a name for it I'm looking for. A rest floor or a safe room, I guess. A safe room could be cool. So it's sort of like your kind of like relaxation room. There's nothing bad here. There may be some treasures, but nothing at least will harm you here. Ooh, we got some purple candy puppets. Okay, so what we're gonna do, like they said, press C, dismiss. I want my reds. Now, if you press down on the D-pad while carrying a Pikmin, you can actually change which ones you wanna grab from flowers and leaves, which is pretty cool. So let's, so that way I keep all of my uh, flower reds. All right, so down, get them all up to the front and start tossing. All right, and there we go. We got ourselves some more purples. Nice, now now we have a total of uh, 20 purples. That's pretty good. All right, let me get over here, help us out. Crack, okay, get all these, uh, get our Pikmin here. Cool. Now, with our purples, you're gonna toss. Crack these eggs open and let's get ourselves some nectar. Want our Pikmin to swarm. All right, is that everybody? That looks like everybody. Awesome. Um, I should also mention, do be careful about nectar. Uh, sometimes a Pikmin can take a whole lot of nectar for itself. So one, greedy bastard. Second, it, it sucks because especially if you have like a lot of Pikmin who you really want flowered and one takes it all, it's like, imagine just a Pikmin just standing there with a straw just slurping up th the nectar like that. Like, that would suck big time. Well, that's it for this floor. There's no treasures here. I don't think there was. Yeah, we kind of explored everywhere. We didn't really see any treasures. It was just uh, the purple flowers and some eggs. That's pretty cool. All right, then. We got nothing else to do. Let's keep going. All right. Moving on to sub level three of the whole of beasts. Cool. And you know what? I think this might actually be a good time for us to stop for now. We got some flames here. We got ourselves quite an interesting floor coming up. I think it's gonna be a good time for us to stop. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. So next time on Pikmin 2, we explore more of the whole of Beast and see what this dungeon has for us. See you guys then.